Have you checked the Benvenidos Fright fans, welcome to the Horror Show. I am Jaime Fuego. I'm Cecil Laird. I don't know why I'm ever surprised that it's going to start that way every single time. <laughs> yes, indeed. And uh, we're here to do another poll choice for all of our patrons. We appreciate the hell out of y'all greatly. And we be talking Jennifer's body. Ooh, Megan Fox, you say, <laughs> Miss, Miss Toe Thumbs herself. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so, so Karen Kusama did this before she became, I guess, a relative household name with The Invitation. Now, that was still a smaller indie horror sort of endeavor, but I love The Invitation. I think it's one of the best that I've seen in the last number of years. She is currently doing a new incarnation of Dracula. Dracula. Exactly. So that is cool. Mm -hmm. But, so Transformers Girl is our lead in this, right? And, She's more than just Transformers. Okay, girl. Megan Fox, I know. And we just recently, myself and Marsha Parker, did a patron requested review of her new film where she's married and problems, and I'm well, not remembering the title, so it's totally fine. I don't remember not either. Really I good. reviewed her previous movie where it was her and some Til army death. buddies. Till Death. Okay. It was called Till Death. I knew I, it was going to come to me. Sometimes I reviewed the one that was death. her and her army buddies uh, in Rogue versus a lion. Oh, I watched that too. That movie... Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's Same. Very rough. I don't think she's particularly bad as an actress though and it's not no. just because she's pretty on the exterior and quite I mean, honestly this is one of the better performances that she's given to maybe hollywood her, maybe her best in my estimation mm -hmm. and this is one dude that just to give overall impressions that i slept on this movie because i saw the trailers and i'm just like i slept this on shit it too looks dumb i was like, laying I on have, it in I, a very particular portion <laughs> of my body of course you were <laughs> and i was like there is no way this is going to be anything worthwhile it was like the late 2000s when this sort of teen driven stuff was kind of wearing itself out a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, before we had the whole, you know, wand and stuff that was really going to like shake stuff up with Conjuring and Insidious well, and whatever. Well, this was post like the 90s Mean Girls movies, mm -hmm. like Jawbreaker and I love Mean Girls, mean Girls and Jawbreaker. I mean, Mean <laughs> Girls was 2000s though, right? But this was, was still post early 2000s. This was still post Mean Girls. It was Girls. post that. Where yeah. It was giving like an well, I guess Jawbreaker was an R-rated impression of that too, but mm -hmm. this most definitely took it more from just like a scathing Oh, you know, we're going to be bitches to you into full-on horror territory, right. if you're familiar right. with Right, which is why them. I'd like it, honestly. Yeah. yeah, and which is why I had no reason to disregard it, because upon finally giving it a chance after, I think it was Taunted Meg from Bloody Disgusting, was like, anybody who didn't check out this movie, it's now on this particular platform, you should give it a chance, and... I dug it, especially the whole evil band and, you know, how they were trying to attain success and everything. And, but the cast is really good. Amanda Seyfried? Amanda I, Seyfried, I, I, yep. Seyfried mm -hmm. is the, uh, like, or best Seyfried, friend. Seyfried, Seyfried yeah, Tomato, tomato. Best friend of Megan Fox. Yeah, I thought both of them were good. Interesting script and dark and, I mean, not necessarily stuff that we'd never seen before, but... I felt like Karen's direction amongst all these people and, you know, the script as well, it brought enough new nuance. So, yeah, I was a fan of this movie when I went in with Donuts for Expectation, and I really appreciated it. This is one that I saw when it came out, and oh, it didn't did do a lot yeah. for me back then, but upon rewatch this past year, within the past couple of months, mm -hmm. because I think it was getting all that heat... Um, in the conversation on the social medias and I was like let me revisit this and I watched it and I was like this is more enjoyable than it used to be there's still some questionable aspects to yeah, it there is but it's very interesting in that it's it's the story of a succubus in high school mm -hmm. and she has to kill and eat in order to not look ugly and pale and yeah. stuff mm -hmm. it's their own sort of version of the Buffy thing where you know, it shows that, you know, sex leads to death and stuff like that. You Which know, has that, been a trope in horror. For, right. You know, I mean, since Friday the 13th, right? So, <laughs> But it's it's, actually, it's an no, enjoyable Halloween, enough story, saying? right? All my creds. <laughs> so Amanda Seyfried, who is, or Seyfried, Seyfried, whatever, who is kind of a nerd also in high school. Also from Mean Girls. She is friends with the most popular girl in school, played by Megan Fox, Jennifer. And a very odd pairing, I must yeah, say. Yeah, they go to this uh, this concert in a in a little tiny club, and they're they, not old enough to be drinking. But no, they they're not old drinking. enough to be drinking. But they go, <laughs> and the band takes notice of them, and they ask, you know, if they're virgins, 
and Megan Fox and Jennifer acts like she is and goes with them and shows up the next day to Amanda Seyfried's house looking very worse for wear mm -hmm. and uh, very almost vampiric. But, Which uh, is a good look for Megan Fox. I mean, especially yeah. younger Megan Fox. But she I'm starts, not going to lie. She starts <laughs> drinking blood and yeah. doing crazy stuff and eating the bad boys at school. And, 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 and there is... If I remember Becoming one a succubus, as I said. Well, well, and there's also one who's, like, not that bad of a dude. And he, like, always had kind of a crush right. on her. And right. she, like, totally just... Yeah, it's where the transition of the character and where she's like, okay, man, maybe I'll just prey on the bad peeps. But, you know, I don't know, the flock is thinning sort of situation. And I have to go for those where I have the best attempt to. The, the band, though, in, in the writing was so funny to me. It was legitimately the equivalent of... Uh, I can't remember. It's, it's kind of like South Scott Park. Pilgrim's band. A, a, a little bit in that regard, and the fact that they're this indie band that is like well to do enough, and oh god, remember the fact that their song becomes this big hit mm -hmm. after the death of all the people and when the place mm -hmm. burns down at their show. But they honestly felt to me like where there's this Christian band in a film that I can't remember, and they're like, hey, come let us baptize you in our hot tub, <laughs> and oh, you geez. know and the fact that they're just like so shitty with the groupies. And even worse with this because, like, you know, I don't know, taking advantage of groupies is one thing. Trying to sacrifice them for the purposes of making your band famous is a totally different sort of situation. Mm -hmm. So I, I liked those aspects of the story, and I thought that they were very funny. There's kind of a snide, tongue-in-cheek aspect to all of that. And I don't know, as far as performances go, did you like Amanda Seyfried being in this, like, wormy sort of role? Did you think she was properly cast in that? Yeah, I, honestly... At that point in her career, sure. Mm -hmm. I, I bought it. You know what I mean? She was expanding from, like, the airhead that you had seen in mm -hmm. Mean Girls. And, and, you know, where fetch is going to be a thing and all that shit. But, yeah, no. Yeah. I I, th I thought that she was good for the role, honestly. Mm -hmm. I thought they were both really well cast. I thought it was... It, it's it's a movie that was slightly ahead of its time when it came out. I agree. Honestly. And that's why I think people are, like, discovering it the way they are now. And I also appreciate the fact that... All of the trailers hinted that this was going to be, like, super sapphic and all of the guys are going to be like, oh, yeah, you know, and, like, be into that shit. But it's really just a tiny bit of the film and not something that's really prevalent. And I know, thankfully, representation of LGBT characters has become much bigger and important of a thing. But this was really, at least the way they marketed it, it was just like, yeah, it's for dudes to, like, horn dog out <laughs> on, you know, like... Girls yeah. Gone Wild shit, yeah, you know, but horror. And so I was actually very appreciative in the fact that both with the storytelling and with the acting, of the friendship between those two, mm -hmm. that it was very genuine and that I thought it was well written and that even Megan Fox within her performance, there is a little bit of like an internal struggle sort of thing. There's like a slight awareness and although it's probably like more 70, 30, 60, 40, mm -hmm. you know, sort of thing and... I guess from a gore standpoint, since we can jump into yeah. that and like the practical effects, yeah, and she is chowing particularly on the kid that I felt bad for, and because he had had a crush on her mm -hmm. for so long, I felt, yeah, yeah, I I felt a little bit of kinship and sadness <laughs> about that, and it's not My like, brother. yeah, it's it's not super blood and guts throughout. It's, in, I mean, we're not watching feast or anything, but it it's still when we got that it's got sort the of audio to approach, it for sure. No, oh, yeah, yeah, definitely, and I also like the big finale scene in the pool that we get and how that was shot by Karen and she was showing that she could do something bigger which I'm hoping we're seeing from Dracula and then you know the fact that she shifted back to the invitation and something that was like very just you know condensed and just very centered in a small sort of setting yeah I, it, it was greatly directed and uh, yeah yeah I was impressed with this film yeah guys this I'm one, meandering it, it's <laughs> one that is is worth y'all's time I mean the the effects there are gore effects that are there when they need to be there. Mm -hmm. There's a slightly digital effect. Which but... I think they show in the trailer. Yeah, I yeah, I believe so. Mm -hmm. But it's just kind of a fun movie to watch even nowadays because it's it's kind of a time capsule from when it was. Very much. But <laughs> there are aspects and themes that can be carried forward mm -hmm. into today's day and age for sure it's so it's like lessons to learn from back when things were not quite yeah. as the, like progressive so to speak and, and figured out as they are now or at least more so people being held accountable yeah i guess so uh, again this is very much worth your time and if you haven't seen it yet then you know definitely uh, rectify that so 
Without spoiling anything, I think that's going to do it for our discussion of Jennifer's body. Yeah. If you enjoyed this movie or if you've seen the movie, let us know what your thoughts are, your non-spoiler thoughts, preferably in the comments down below. Nice that way, if anyone that's watching this hasn't seen it yet, they're not going to be spoiled for however, how everything happens. Yeah. I think it does have a satisfying ending, though. Yeah, and that's where I want to ask if you or people like Cecil, who had watched it previously and didn't like it, and then came back around revisited. to it and did that revisit, checked it back out, and you were like, oh, this has more merit than I probably gave it at the time. I, like, I don't know if time heals all wounds when it comes to film, but nope. it can definitely like just give you a different perspective. It's a thing. If it was something that you were interested in and then disappointed by, sometimes a second look is kind of cool. My two are It Follows and The Witch. Those are the two that I changed. For you. Yeah, those yeah. are two that I changed my opinion on after watching them a second time. So I don't have something to drop, unfortunately. So, nah. Oh, well. Oh, you're so put together. <laughs> I tried. Um, so, <laughs> no, no, so not, actually, <laughs> in that regard. So, yeah, guys, that's going to do it for our thoughts on Jennifer's Body. Thank you once again to all of our patrons for supporting the channel the way that you do. We greatly appreciate each and every one of you for the regular support. Damn Thank amazing. you very much. Until next time, I've been Cecil Laird. Gracias. I've been Jaime Fuego. And remember, stay, stay scared. scared.